Hi, so the purpose of this video is to uh, go through the new WordPress 3 uh, and explain how it will have an impact on uh, developers who hand over WordPress as a CMS to their clients. Um, as you can see, this the new theme there, really to be honest, as, as developers, we never hand over that theme to a client anyway, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. But there are some really nice things in the back end that have changed. And um, what I'm going to do is just go through the two major ones, but there are more than two. So if we just log in, you'll notice first of all that the actual skin has changed slightly. So uh, all those videos you've made for your clients, you're going to have to start making some new ones. Um, the main thing that's changed really to be honest is that now that WordPress has the ability to have a menu system on there, which has always been an issue when you hand it over WordPress to clients, um, to be able to, to give them a way of controlling how the menus appear. Now this is obviously still in beta, so it's obviously still a little bit buggy, but um, it's worth just demonstrating how it works. So uh, let's just create a new menu. So um, let's do this, main menu. Let's create the menu. And what happens is it populates with a number of options underneath. And the easiest way to do it is to use by adding the existing pages. So I've predefined some pages in here already. So let's just take these ones in and add it to the menu. What this does is it adds, adds to the menu at the top. And now we just need to reorder them. Now, it's reordering is a little bit fiddly right now. It's quite easy to get it wrong. Uh, but you can see the potential is huge. You know, it's... Uh, very easy to, well, relatively easy to. So if I got that wrong, then I'd have to bring this out and move it around. It, it is fiddly, as I said before, but this is just a beta version, so it'll all be worked out anyway. And all you do is hit the uh, Save Menu option. Okay, that menu is now being created, and now <clears throat> all we want to do is see it in our theme. So currently, right now, there it is, it appears as default. The main menu appears as default. So if you were to add other menus into there, all you need to do is just come into the editor, go to the header here. So all you would do in order to get your menu to appear would just be something simple like this, menu, and then you just type in the, the name of it. So. And it's as simple as that, uh, just to get your menus to appear wherever you want them to. So, in terms of a menu system for clients, you know, you could start, you could create a, a let's create a new menu called um, Getting Pregnant. This would be our side menu. Uh, and then what happens is these appear at the top. Yeah, so you can flick between the two quite easily. Um, to add to this, all you do again is, well, there's many different ways of doing it, but the easiest way of just doing it like this. Let's add it to the menu, and it gets added to the menu here, the left menu. So I can save this menu, and you know I can pull that left menu out there. So it just means that you, when you hand over to the clients, they've got now the ability to uh, add in these these menu items themselves. It looks like so far the way they have to do it is they have to create the page and then come into the menu system and add the menu in uh, themselves manually, which is not such a bad thing in the end anyway, because presumably when you hand it over to the clients, you'll be handing them over with what the majority of the pages inserted into their website already. So I think this is actually quite a good option. So the other major, major uh, change in WordPress is the ability to uh, customize the, the posts to use them in any way that you want. And what we've done is uh, we've actually taken, made our own plugin just to do as a demonstration here as to um, potentially what you can do with it. Now this originally comes from uh, Kovashini.com and Constantine, if I got your pronunciation of your name wrong there, I apologize. But he produced a plug plugin which we've now uh, adapted ourselves. So imagine, for example, you wanted your client to have a directory on their site. Um, 
you know this now has the ability to do this so if we add in a new directory post essentially it's really simple to customize this editing area to have in whatever options you want uh, which is great I mean the, the, the opportunities are just endless now uh, we've gone in and created our own one imagine this is a directory so we need contact names address number suburb state you know the normal option would just be the website a short description but you know you can take it a little bit step further by saying it's a premium listing and that would add in like a long description a Twitter and a Facebook a promo page and you can even um, ad uh, adapt it fairly easily to actually be able to just uh, insert uh, images into the into this quite simply so I can just come in here and insert this into the post uh, and that will just come into here and now I've got the URL for the actual image which we can use and it's if we put in a little uh, fix here to put in the tiny MCA editor over text areas um, which is great you know and these are the states that's involved it's just a checklist we've also got the tags you know and we can check which category they're from but just to show you how simple it is to actually um, add new form elements onto that I'll just give you a very quick demonstration of how you do it imagine in this we wanted to actually add in opening times or something so all you do is you just come in here 30 opening times and this just defines at the top uh, which meta fields there are and then all I need to do is come down to here this is the original one, so I want to add it into the premium listing. So I'm just going to add it into this option here. And then I will just uh, copy this, come into here, paste it into here, change this to say opening times. Okay, all I need to do is save it. Let's come back into here and if I refresh this, scroll down to the bottom, oh, we can turn on premium listings. I can see here I've got my field for opening times. It's really that simple to use. So uh, adding fields and text areas is very, very easy to do. Um, the way we think this will be most useful initially for WordPress developers and handing over stuff to clients will be to create a home page um, options for things. So there'll be a home page link here, and the client will come in and be able to edit directly parts of their home page and just hit the, the, the save button. Uh, and that will be so much simpler than the current uh, ways of doing it where you have to go off and edit post excerpts and things like that. So there is really a huge potential this uh, we're as you can probably tell quite excited about it from our point of view from a video user manuals point of view um, because the screens have changed uh, we're having to reshoot every video from scratch uh, and um, and the new functionality as well we're having to discover how it all works but this is still in beta right now so we're just doing our tests right now but anyway we hope you found this interesting and uh, I hope you um, are at least inspired to uh, you know, think of ways that you can use the WordPress 3 yourself for your clients.